Hey, what's going on? My name is Luis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is November 3rd, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share the video. And it says here, security alert at Duke Power Nuclear Plant after a man ramps into a gate and tried to hit multiple security guards with shots fired. Man. So this is happening in Oconee, South Carolina. All right, let's see what's going on here, guys. So multiple authorities are currently searching for a white male suspect driving a silver 2002 Toyota Camry. The suspect drove into pop-up barricades, crashed through a fence, and attempted to hit multiple security guards. What in the world is going on with people nowadays? All right, so uh, crashed through a fence and attempted to hit multiple security guards at Duke Power Nuclear Plant in Oconee County, South Carolina. According to deputies, the incident occurred around 8.05 p.m. The driver then fled the plant's exit, where he also tried to hit a security, give me a second here, guys, a security truck with a guard inside. Shots were reported to have been fired during the incident. Man, seems like someone tried to hit the grid or something. Um, reports of shots fired. All right, we're gonna see what's going on in this story. We also have more breaking news updates. I'm gonna throw this one in too, guys. There's been a huge, massive fire. Numerous firefighters are battling a large warehouse factory Fire. This is happening in Reading, Pennsylvania. All right, we're gonna get to all this. I just, uh, I just got home from my second job, guys. Right now it's twelve thirty-six a.m. Um, so yeah, this is where we are right now. And earlier today, I posted a video of a massive explosion, a a gas explosion, uh, uh, excuse me, gas pipeline explosion so there's a lot of stuff going on today guys but uh the big one is this one here all right we're gonna see what's going on in south carolina um also uh i think it was two days ago there was a a very important message from i believe it was the president said that uh, they're gonna pass a bill to to upgrade the power grid possibly more security who knows maybe those who's doing this is possibly the sleepers Okay. Again, that's what I'm saying. I agree. Was alert. Uh, he said 2023, the year with bizarre and weird events. But there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on in uh, 2023. Just doesn't make any sense. All right, so here's the uh, information. Uh, I just pulled it up. Driver of Toyota Camry wanted following incident. Uh, Ocon uh, Oconee Nuclear Station deputy says, if you can, please uh, share the video. I appreciate the love and support. So the hunt is for a driver after deputies say he drove through a gate at the Okanee uh, nuclear power plant Thursday night to according um, to Master Deputy Jimmy Watt from the Okanee County Sheriff Office. Uh, deputies responded to the plant around 8 p.m. after a man drove his silver 2002 Toyota Camry drove through the exit side of the gate on the highway 183 side of the facility 
According to Watt, after the vehicle struck the pop up barricades, that security at the plant activated, the driver backed the vehicle up and proceeded down a dirt road where Duke Energy security blockade uh, the vehicle in. Now, the driver then drove through a fence after attempting to hit the security officer, Watt said. According to Watt, uh, the driver then drove out of the exit of the plant, but he attempted to hit a security truck with a guard inside or in it. After the driver backed onto Highway 183, the driver then drove into Peckins County and pulled onto some property on Jones Mill Road, where shots were fired. According to Watt, at this time, the source of the shots fired in the Jones Mills Road area is unknown. Damn. The silver 2002 Toyota Camry has an Arkansas tag of th uh, 38 Zero VDR. Again, 38 Zero VDR. If you live in South Carolina, possibly this person might be on I 95 heading towards North Carolina. Who knows, or possibly heading towards the other side, uh, Georgia. His license plates. It's a, well, first, it's a silver uh, 2002 Toyota Camry. And he has a license plate of Arkansas tag. 380 VDR, according to information obtained during the investigation. About one hour before tonight's incident, the same vehicle and driver also showed up on the property of Okini Nuclear Station. According to Watts, after being asked to leave, the driver drove off. If you have any information on the whereabouts of the driver of a 2002 Toyota Camry with the Arkansas tag, a 380 VDR, you can ask to call, you know, the three numbers. According to Duke Energy website, with three nuclear reactors, three nuclear reactors, Okini Nuclear Station is one of the nation's largest nuclear plants. Yeah, go figure. Mm. Since the beginning operation in 1973, it has safely and reliably generated more than 500 million megawatts hours of electricity. This part right here is the biggest. This is the nuclear, I mean, the nation's largest nuclear plant in America. Wow. And they're still looking for him. They're still looking for him. Is that him? I don't think this is him. I don't think this is him. Give me a second. No, no, no. I don't think this is him. No, I don't think this is him. I think this is a different story. All right. So once again, guys, information's coming out. They're still looking for him. All right, we're going to go with the fire now. We uh, see what's going on with the uh, situation here. Now we're going to head up north, Pennsylvania. Man, with all this stuff going on, with all these fires, a lot of it could be, uh, who knows? Um, but uh, again, guys, there's been so many of this stuff happening in the year 2023. I'm not shocked anymore. If I see a pig flying in the air, and speaking, I would not be shocked anymore. All right, so it says here firefighters battle a two alarm blaze in Reading, Pennsylvania. The blaze broke out around 8.30. Man, what's going on with these eight o'clock events? Uh, the blaze uh, broke out around 8.30 p.m. Thursday at a abandoned factory on 9th Street. Heavy flames were showing from the third floor when crews arrived on the scene. Chopper 6 was overhead as crew uh, worked 
to get the flames under control. No injuries have been reported. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. This one here was not a big, you know, catastrophic event. Um, but uh, again, this thing was, uh, was pretty big. Update! Firefighters are still working to control the blaze. Reports indicate that it is at an abandoned factory and all other structures are currently in danger. As long as it stay in that uh, region, that factory, everything, uh, everything is all good. Give me a second. Uh, the blaze broke out around 8.30 p.m. Thursday. So we already know that. All right, so other than that, guys, give me a second. I want to see more about this. I want to see more about this, uh, this Duke Energy nuclear power plant. BNO News just put out an information. Look at this. Let me see. Let me just pull it up really quick. Yeah, look at this. This is coming out from BNO News. 55 minutes ago. Uh, police searching for a driver who tried to force his way into Okney Nuclear Station in South Carolina. Here's a, here's a statement. Statement. Uh, police in South Carolina searching for a man who tried to force his way into the nation's largest nuclear power plant. All right. It says here, the Okney County Sheriff's Office is in the early stages of an investigation into an incident, incident that occurred earlier this evening at the Okney uh, Nuclear Station. The E911 slash communication center received a call from the nuclear station around 8.05 p.m. tonight. It was November the 2nd. And dispatched deputies to the scene. According to information obtained by deputies from the Uniform Patrol Bureau, a white male driving a silver 2002 Toyota Camry drove uh, through the exit side of the gate on the Highway 183 side of the facility after the vehicle struck the pop-up. I'm just going to skip this because, we, uh, yeah, I just read this already. Um, yeah, so a lot of this, uh, yeah, I already read all this. All right. There is so many stuff happening. A lot of stuff is happening right now. Just the minds of many has grown cold. Romans chapter one, Paul said in the very end, God is going to give up many to a reprobate mind, a debased mind, which mean that God has given up people to sin. Those who's not going to repent, God knows their hearts. God has given them up. And these people uh, no longer know the truth. They don't see the truth anymore. They just become fools. But it's not only people, uh, you know, being given up to a debased mind, but countries also is being given up to a debased mind. A nation is being given up to a reprobate mind. So we are seeing great changes happening. We are seeing uh, a lot of uh, strange things, events in the year 2023. And it's just the beginning. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to keep you updated on this story. Once again, nation's largest, the biggest nuclear power plant got impacted. But uh, yeah, everything's safe for now. But uh, this goes to tell you, look out, sleeping giant. It's not looking good. This is just the tip of it. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. But he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later.
Peace.